Hello, and welcome to the eLearning Intelligent Valve integration into Dezigo. As you can see on the left-hand side, there is an overview of all chapters and topics we have prepared for you. The Intelligent Valve optimizes the energy efficiency as it did on the first day. This means significant energy cost savings with no additional effort. It compensates the dynamic pressure fluctuations in the hydraulic system and keeps the room temperature constant. It offers flexible installation options and fast commissioning. Two types of intelligent valves, flange and thread, with a range of dimensions that are available to perfectly meet the customer job site specification. Let's have a look at the common components. The temperature sensor pair is used to measure the temperature in the primary flow and return. The ultrasonic flow sensor feeds the intelligent valve controller with the present volume flow. The intelligent valve controller provides dynamic flow control and energy monitoring. To do so, it integrates the temperature difference and present flow signals to calculate the present power output and provide precise volume flow control by steering the high-resolution actuator to precisely set the control valve position. The controller features color-coded plug-in terminals for easy installation. Now that we have an overview of the intelligent valve, let's turn our attention to a real-life scenario. Mike is the facility manager of a campus consisting of three buildings. It's important to Mike that his building's HVAC systems work in such a way that provide the tenants with the desired comfort in an energy and cost-efficient manner. He wants to detect abnormal behavior of the HVAC systems immediately and solve problems as quickly as possible. Mike uses Dezigo CC, Siemens Building Management Software, for these purposes. Dezigo CC allows him to collect and analyze data and visualize runtime processes. Let's take a look at Building 1. Building 1 has an HVAC system consisting of three air handling units. Each cooling coil has an intelligent valve installed. By integrating the intelligent valves into Dezigo, Mike can benefit from energy transparency and efficient troubleshooting. Mike relies on the core applications, graphics, trends, events, and reports. Through the graphics, Mike is able to check the proper operation of the entire HVAC system and its various components. It's a regular Wednesday afternoon, and Mike wants to check Building 1. In a first step, he focuses on Air Handling Unit 2. In the plant graphics, Mike gets an overview of the state of his air handling unit and immediately sees that there is an intelligent valve installed. So far, everything seems to be okay. Mike navigates to the cooling coil and sees that the cooling circuit is in normal operation. This information alone is not enough for Mike. With the intelligent valve integrated into Dezigo, Mike can navigate to the field device level to check the current state of the intelligent valve. The graphic shows the volume flow and the supply temperature seems to be okay. Mike can even find more information about the data points in the contextual pane. For example, he can check whether the device is now controlling by position, volume flow, or power. Mike obtained a good overview of the operating states. To get more information about the system, Mike starts the trend application to track data point values or states over time. Mike can do this in several ways. One option is to focus solely on a single intelligent valve and to track several of its data points simultaneously. For example, Mike can verify whether the valve's power control is working as intended. As we can see, the measured power is precisely following the set point. Everything seems to be okay. 
Mike is not limited to trending data from one intelligent valve. As a second option, he can analyze data point curves from multiple valves at the same time. Mike is interested in optimizing the thermal power consumption. At a glance, he can identify any deviations from the expected power values. In the time period, the power consumption seems to be in the normal range. The third option, Time Shift Comparisons, allows Mike to make comparisons of trended historical and real-time data on different days for the same time period. Mike is interested in optimizing not only the thermal, but also the hydraulic power consumption. For this purpose, Mike checks the differential pressures across the intelligent valves. To Mike, today's values seem higher than usual. However, he's not quite sure about it. Mike decides to conduct a time shift comparison with the current data in the trend below and the historical data in the trend above. He finds the differential pressure values today are significantly higher than yesterday's values. To investigate the cause, Mike decides to check the main chiller supply pump. Mike observes that the pump is controlling on constant pressure and switches it back to the more efficient proportional mode. The trend application provides Mike with a precise performance evaluation, allowing him to take specific action to optimize power consumption. The event application supports Mike with fast troubleshooting. When an event occurs in the building automation system, the system notifies Mike and supports him in the investigation of the root cause. Through event propagation, Mike sees the event indicated on every level of the building hierarchy and is directed to the source of the fault. The error description tells Mike clearly that there is a problem with the primary return temperature sensor connected to the intelligent valve. Mike grabs his toolbox, travels to the site, and fixes the broken sensor connection. Now that Mike has responded to the event, he can document his investigations using the report application. With a minimum effort, Mike can easily generate comprehensive reports of the trended differential pressures and the sensor fault event. The reports will serve Mike well when he needs to justify his actions to the management. From Mike's perspective, the primary motivations for integrating the intelligent valves into Dezigo are energy transparency and efficient troubleshooting. Energy transparency means knowing the power consumption down to the field device level, detecting anomalies and inefficiencies, and reporting the results. Efficient troubleshooting means notifying immediately in the event of an error, reducing troubleshooting effort by presenting detailed information about the root cause, and documenting the results. Let's take a look at the integration of the intelligent valves. The intelligent valves are connected to and controlled by a higher level automation station. In this case, it is either a PX compact or a PX modular. To display the data in Dezigo CC, integrate the PX primary automation station into Dezigo CC. All the communication is based on BACnet IP. Alternatively, intelligent valves can be controlled via an analog signal. Sam is a solution partner working with Siemens Building Automation and Management Systems. He views it as important that he can engineer his projects fast because time is money, error-free because troubleshooting at a later stage can be very time-consuming and expensive, and conveniently because working offline in the office is preferable to being on site. Sam's tasks involve setting up the intelligent valves with ABT site, programming the PX primary automation stations with XWorks Plus, and integrating the intelligent valves into Dezigo CC. Solution partners can benefit from the following features of ABT site. Offline configuration without a physical connection to the device. 
Mass creation to prepare the network configurations for a larger number of intelligent valves simultaneously. Templates to reduce the engineering effort and potential configuration errors. Application and device overview to easily keep track of parameters set in the templates. Simultaneous configuration download to multiple valves. At the automation level, XWorks Plus and ABT Site complement each other perfectly. With XWorks Plus, project data from both PX primary automation stations and intelligent valves can be managed from the same place. The function Network Check allows to check the device network configurations of both PX primary automation stations and intelligent valves. In doing so, Errors such as duplicated or incorrectly entered IP addresses can be detected and corrected at an early stage. The provided intelligent valve compound supports the configuration of the primary applications. The solution includes alarming and trending. At the management level, SAM benefits from seamless integration of PX and intelligent valves automatically adopting previously defined trending, alarming, and building hierarchy and library graphics in 2D, 2D+, and 3D. SAM has just seen the benefits of these complementary tools. Mass engineering, seamless integration, error detection and prevention, offline engineering, and centralized data storage. He can efficiently and conveniently engineer the project, confident that he can bring it to a profitable conclusion. To achieve a smooth and efficient integration, tool, firmware, and library versions must be compatible. On the management level, you see the required Dezigo CC version. On the automation level, use the indicated automation station firmware, tool, and compound library versions. And finally, the intelligent valve requirements. Let's take a look at the workflow to integrate the intelligent valve into Dezigo. The workflow is often dependent on the organization. Conveniently, as we learned, part of the work can be done offline, while other steps require on site action. Also, the integration in Dezigo CC can be partly done offline. In the first workflow, SAM's company is able to commission the complete system. In the second workflow, the company Jim works for is responsible for balancing the hydronic system. Let's look at the workflow steps related specifically to the intelligent valve. After SAM creates a new project, he parameterizes the related intelligent valve configuration. In the first workflow, Sam uses the application template with balancing parameters for the configuration. In the second workflow, Sam selects the template without balancing parameters because Jim will parameterize the hydronic system later. While Sam programs the PX primary automation stations, Jim arrives on site and sets the balancing parameters using the ABT Go app. In the final step of commissioning the intelligent valve, SAM downloads the application configurations. Now the primary automation stations need to be set up for the remaining applications. To complete the workflow, SAM integrates the project data into Dezigo CC and engineers the graphics and trending applications. For more detailed information, please refer to the engineering instructions and the corresponding workflow videos.